Hey dolls, it's Amanda3409 and today I'm going to do a makeup tutorial for you guys featuring the Hidden Treasures palette from Dose of Colors. I have already done a kind of review style video of this palette. If you want to see it, I will link it in the description box below as well as the top right hand of the screen. If you click the little eye icon right there, it will drop down and you can go see my review video on this. But today I'm basically going to be doing a first impression type tutorial. Obviously, I filmed this intro after putting the makeup on, but when you see me applying the makeup, that is my first impression of the palette itself. I had not previously swatched it or anything. It was just fresh out of the packaging. I just got it today. So yes, uh, it is on this eye look right here. It's kind of like a burnt red coppery color. I don't usually wear these kinds of colors, so I figured that this would be the perfect opportunity to test them out and figured I'd just turn it into a tutorial for you guys. So with that being said, I hope you guys enjoy it. Okay, so I already went ahead and did my foundation, my contour, and my blush. And I also did my brows already. Um, for my foundation, I used the uh, Maybelline Fit Me in the matte and poreless finish. And for my brows, I used the How to Make Brows Wow kit from Essence. For my contour, I used this Pro Contour Palette from Pro Fusion that I actually got at Ross for under $7. And for my blush, I just used this Color Mates one that I got from Dollar Tree in the shade Mauve Alice. The palette that we are going to be focusing on today is the Hidden Treasures Palette from Dose of Colors Cosmetics. Here is what the palette looks like. There are some gorgeous metallic shades in here, as well as some mattes. I haven't even swatched these shadows for myself yet, so we are gonna focus mainly on the metallic shades because, let's be real, that's probably what captures everyone's attention about this palette. Um, so I think we're going to start off with one of my Morphe blending brushes, and I'm gonna pick up some of Let's go, uh, I can't decide, there's so many beautiful colors. Um, let's go with this crown shade. Ooh, and that is pretty pigmented, you can see. And I have prepped my eyes also with some Urban Decay uh, eyeshadow primer. So here I have my brush loaded up. I don't know how much fallout this is gonna create, but when I tap my brush, quite a bit falls off. So we'll see. All right, and I'm just gonna blend this into the crease right here. Ooh, that is very, it blends really nicely though, like, do you guys see this? It's like blending really nicely. There is a ton of fallout with this product. Okay, so I'm just gonna do the other eye real quick. Okay, and now I'm just gonna work on building it up just a little bit. So there's more color. I'm actually really liking how it blends. There's just quite a bit of fallout, which I'm not really a fan of. Now I'm gonna go ahead and move on into this ruby shade right here. And I'm just gonna go ahead and use that same brush. So picking up the product, I'm just gonna basically do the same thing, except, woo, look at that red. Except I'm not gonna pull it up as high. Look at that red. It's so pretty, I'm just like, pressing it on and that's just gonna like help blend it into the other color as well mainly I'm just working on building this up and I'm gonna start kind of putting it on my lid as well this is really pretty actually and to kind of blend it into the other color I'm gonna go in with my Mac 224 and kind of blend these two colors. So it's just like a really burnt color. All right, now I'm just gonna go ahead and play with building up this ruby shade a little bit more, as well as put it on the other eye. So I've been building up the color kind of a little bit at a time. It doesn't take a lot to build it up, which I absolutely love about this. Now while I am on this ruby shade, I'm going to go ahead and take um, the fluffy end 
of this Too Faced brush and I'm gonna take that ruby color and I'm gonna go ahead and tap my product off a bit and um, throw this on underneath my eye on my lower lash line and I'm gonna focus this mainly on the outer half And then connect the two, connect the top and bottom at the corner, pretty much like so. And then I'm going to take that same brush and that crown shade that we started out in the beginning, that orangey copper, and I'm going to go ahead and blend out the bottom of this, kind of just like blend and smudge at the same time, just so it's a little bit lighter. And then I'm going to go ahead and pull it in towards the middle towards the inner corner. So using this shade to just kind of blend that out a bit. Now for the rest of my lid, I am gonna go ahead and take this brush from Morphe. It's kind of like a flat packing brush. And I'm gonna spritz on a little bit of Fix Plus from MAC. And I'm gonna go in with that crown shade, I believe. Actually, let's go on with the red, and we're just going to pack on the red even thicker on the whole lid itself. So as you can see, we're just going to pack on this red. You can see by adding the Fix Plus, it definitely gives you the option to build it up a lot quicker. And then you can also focus where you want the product to be. Going in with that original little blendy brush in the beginning, and I'm gonna pick up the shade Diamond. Ooh! I'm gonna pick up the shade Diamond here on the far end, and I'm just going to throw this up top right here, just kind of to buff that out a little bit on both sides. So I, I mainly just wanted to focus on the red. But I think I'm going to tweak this just a skosh. And I'm going to go in with this gemstone shade right here. It is the lightest kind of champagne color. I'm going to throw on some more of the Fix Plus. Dip into that gemstone shade. And just kind of focus this on the middle of my lid. Because this is going to create that really nice like pop even more so and then I'm just gonna kind of blend it around a little so you can kind of see the difference in the lids so for highlight on my brow bone I'm taking the the shade here in pearl right here it's the lightest shade and I'm taking some of that fix plus just a gentle spritz on my fluffy brush and then I'm going to throw this on right under my eyebrow And I'm also going to take some of that pearl shade and throw it in the inner corner of my eyes. And I'm going to light up this inner corner like crazy. And now it is time for gel liner. So I'm taking the Maybelline Eye Studio Pot Gel Liner and this brush right here which is also a Morphe brush. And this is my favorite like brush to use with this so I'm gonna go ahead and do a pretty thick um, like wing let's say a silent prayer to the angels above that I will do them semi-symmetrical Okay, and then I'm gonna go ahead and bring this eyeliner down to my waterline. Just like that. And then I'm gonna take this Onyx shade in the palette, this a beautiful matte black, and my Sigma, Sigma E21 brush, and I'm going to Set that gel liner with this shadow just so it doesn't smudge or go anywhere 
And then I'm also going to smudge out the bottom lash line, but not too far because I still want that reddish copper color to peek through. So I'm just blending out kind of to connect the wing and then bringing it inwards just a little bit, just like so. Okay, so once we have that done, now I'm gonna go ahead and throw on some mascara and false lashes. And the mascara that I'm using is the Revlon All-in-One. It was upside down, so that was kind of a fail, but you guys get the picture. I love this mascara. It just, it adds so much length and it's amazing. I love it. These are the lashes that I'm going to be applying. I ordered these from eBay from overseas. Here's the little numbering and stuff. Um, they're amazing. They come in like a five pack for like a dollar. I love how these look on. And I'm not going to film myself putting these on, but I do have a full how to apply false lashes video, which I will link in the description box below, as well as put on the top right hand of the screen. So if you click the little eye icon, it'll drop down and you can see how I apply my false lashes. Okay, now that the false lashes are on, I'm going to go over with my gel liner just to blend that lash band, just to cover it up. Okay, so for my highlight, I'm going to be using Fanny Pack from ColourPop. Unfortunately, this stuff is discontinued, but it is amazing. And I'm going to go in with my Morphe M405 brush and with a little bit of Fix Plus, just so the product will... I also love to apply this with my fingers, but I find that applying it with the brush as well just is really, really nice. Look at that highlight. Woo! It's so pretty. It's so pretty. So I just like to do the high points of my cheeks, my nose, forehead, and temples just a little bit, chin. Cupid's bow. And then for lips, since the eyes are a little bit more burnt and traumatic, I'm going to go ahead and throw on a nude lip. So I'm going to line in this Essence Lip Liner in Satin Mauve. And then I'm going to use the ColourPop Matte Liquid Lippy in the shade Vice. This is really similar to Milkshake by Anastasia Beverly Hills, that liquid lipstick. Um, this is just the cheaper route. So if you are looking for a good dupe, this one is great. So I'm going to go ahead and align my lips and then throw this little puppy on. for the tutorial. I really do hope this was helpful for you guys in any way whatsoever, especially if you're thinking about getting this palette and this kind of gives you an idea of what you can do with the metallic shades within it. And yeah, so if you want to see my review video on this, go ahead and click the link in the description or the little icon right up here and it'll drop down and you can click on it there. Um, and basically I just go over the pros and cons and whether it's worth your money or not. So yes, with that being said, I do hope you all enjoyed this video and I will talk to you all in my next one. So until then, so long, stay strong, stay true, and be you. All right, bye.